On this momentous day, Frederick gathered his wife, Mary, their four children, and their mother, Queen Margrethe. The entire family graciously greeted the Danish people from Amalienborg Palace, the same palace where Frederick and Mary had a movie kiss last January after being proclaimed kings of Denmark. While we didn't see a kiss in this new appearance of Frederick and Mary on the balcony of Amalienborg Palace, the head of state did make several affectionate gestures toward his wife. On several occasions, Frederick held Maria's hand as a sign of affection. In addition, the Queen of Denmark surprised us today with the striking and elegant dress she wore for such a special occasion. This month has been a special one for the Danish royal house. First, we saw Frederick and Mary celebrating their 20th wedding anniversary. In addition to this special date, May is also the birth month of Frederick of Denmark, who turned 56 today, May 26th. This is a doubly significant date as it is the man's first birthday after becoming king. To celebrate, the couple took to the balcony of Amalienborg Palace to greet their people, and we were captivated by the queen's striking image as Mary surprised us with a colorful, eye-catching fuchsia color dress. The knee-length garment, consisting of a covered top with long puffed sleeves and elasticized cuffs, and a flowing skirt adorned with pleats. Undoubtedly, a very bold and bright choice, indicative of the great happiness prevailing in the palace, the same color was chosen by Queen Margrethe, who also wore an elegant fuchsia colored dress with short sleeves and a beautiful brooch in the form of a white flower. Mary once again showed her composure and versatile style by making this bold choice, which she masterfully defended, also highlighting her hair styled with water waves and lighter highlights than she usually wears. The queen chose diamond and ruby rings and a yellow gold bracelet to accessorize. Along with Maria, Federico, and Margareta, the couple's children also celebrated their father on such an important date. Christian, Isabella, and twins Vincent and Josephine did not want to miss their father's new birthday. The kids were very close to their family as they all went out on the balcony to say hello, and the happiness on the birthday boy's face was very evident as he was smiling the whole time. It was undoubtedly a historic day for the Danish head of state, who made many gestures of affection for his wife and children, and speaking of children, if anything caught our attention, it was the choice of Isabella's image. The girl chose a blue dress with a cross neckline and various white floral motifs adorning both the neckline and part of the sleeves and skirt. The model had puffed sleeves with elasticized cuffs and a flowing long skirt. We love that the girl chose this particular model a great sign that the boho trend is becoming increasingly popular this summer season. Today we saw the Danish royal family very united, friendly, and fun, which shows that they seem to be having a good time at the moment. In January this year, Queen Margrethe of Denmark abdicated in favor of her son Frederick.In conclusion. The recent appearance of the Danish royal family on the balcony of Amalienborg Palace was a vivid testament to the unity, warmth, and vibrancy that characterized this new chapter in Denmark's royal history. King Frederick and Queen Mary, along with their children and Queen Mother Margaret, presented a picture of familial affection and regal elegance that resonated deeply with the Danish people and royal watchers worldwide. The king's affectionate gestures towards Queen Mary, the striking fashion choices of the royal family, especially Queen Mary's bold future dress, and the visible joy on the faces of the children underscored the celebratory mood of the occasion. This event was not just about marking King Frederick's first birthday as a monarch or celebrating the royal couple's 20th wedding anniversary. It was a demonstration of the royal family's close connection with the Danish people and their readiness to embrace their roles in this new era. 
Queen Margrethe's abdication in favor of her son earlier this year marked the beginning of a new era for Denmark's monarchy, one that King Frederick and Queen Mary seem well prepared to lead with grace, compassion, and a deep sense of duty. Their recent public appearance was a powerful reminder of the enduring appeal of the monarchy in modern society, offering a blend of tradition and contemporary values that continue to captivate and inspire. As we look forward to the future of Denmark's royal family, it's clear that they are navigating their new roles with a blend of respect for tradition and a fresh, vibrant approach to their public duties. The unity and joy displayed by the family on this significant day offer a promising glimpse into the future, suggesting that the monarchy remains a steadfast and beloved institution in the hearts of the Danish people. And so we come to the end of our video today, where we relive together these exciting moments in the life of the Danish royal family. Today's event on the balcony of Amalienborg is not just a celebration of King Frederick's birthday and the 20th anniversary of his marriage to Queen Mary. It is a landmark moment that shows the deep connection between the royal family and the people of Denmark. Not only have we witnessed royal elegance and fashion choices, but we have also seen how strong the family bonds and love within the family is. These moments remind us of the importance of tradition, unity, and support in any family, whether royal or not. Don't forget to share your thoughts on today's video in the comments. Did you enjoy the royal family's outfit choices? What do you think about the role of the monarchy in today's world? We look forward to hearing from you in the comments. If you liked this video, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss more interesting videos about the life of royal families and more. Thanks for being with us today. See you in the next videos.